Right, so first of all, you need to choose which qualification you want to do with us. So CICM have got a range of qualifications. They're divided by uh, industry subject and by level. For example, you could choose credit control and collections as your subject, and that's our most popular one. Or you could specialise in enforcement or money and debt advice. You then need to decide what level of study you want to take. Uh, so CICM have a, a range of levels, starting at level two up to level five. Um, just to give you a very rough idea um, as a starter, if you wanted to start at level two, that would be roughly equivalent to school leaver qualification, so it'd be something like a GCSE. If you wanted to come in at level three um, or work up to it, either way, that's more like an A level. Uh, level four would be your foundation degree that you start your university at. Level five is equivalent to your second year at university. It's quite a wide range. So let's say you've chosen your qualification now. That's your first big choice done. Uh, now it's about deciding how am I going to gain that qualification? So let's use one as an example. So let's use credit control and collections level three diploma. So in there, if you look in your um, syllabus, which is in that uh, area of qualifications on the, on the website, um, it will tell you how many units you have to do. So broadly speaking, every CICM qualification is made up of a group of learning modules called units. Um, you need to gain four units in order to gain the qualification. So that means you have to study them, take an assessment, pass that assessment. If you pass all four, you've got the qualification. Some of our qualifications, uh, such as the one I've just explained, do have a mandatory element. So what that means is you get choice in your units, but some units you have to do because they're really important to show what you know about that subject. The credit control and collections, you would have to do a credit management unit. That's known as a mandatory unit. It doesn't mean you have to start there, although we often recommend you do. Um, so that means you have to study something to do with credit management, get a pass in that. Then your other three units you need to gain your full qualification, you can choose from any at that level in our suite of units. So it's a bit like a pick and mix. You get all four uh, unit awards and then once you've got the four, you get the full qualification.